Hey everyone, today I wanted to share five things I do to help my house and my household run smoothly. So if that's something that you feel like maybe you can improve or just want to hear what I'm doing to help manage my life, um, go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so managing my household is definitely something that takes time and energy and I'm trying to make it as seamless as possible. Um, I definitely enjoy like a somewhat tidy house. I mean, my house is not like perfectly clean ever really, but um, you know, that's something I find important. Um, so a few of the things that I do to help me achieve that. Number one is to use a planner that works for you. So for me, my brain likes lists. So I'm gonna show you the planner um, that I use. This one is from the brand Golden Coil. Um, so it just looks like this. You can pick the color of your cover and then it has a gold coil, imagine that. Um, what I like about this brand is that you get to completely customize the layout. So you get to choose, do you want daily, monthly, how many calendars, how many extra note sheets? Like you get to pick everything, which I love. Um, this is my second year using them. I'm addicted and I definitely will buy another. So for my brain, I like lists. So this is the layout I chose. Um, so you have the days of the week here, which I like, I can just kind of fill in. And then I basically have a page and a half, all of right here and all of over here, of lines with boxes to check off. Um, I just like to put my brain dump here. So I put kind of the chores I wanna get done throughout the week. I put any, you know, like I had to get cat food and I need to go get my fishing license, like random things that I need to do this week. I like putting here. I don't like assigning it to a day necessarily. Like I try to kind of pick a few things to do every day, but I don't like writing that I'm gonna do something and then I can't get to it and I have to cross it out or write it out. Like that drives me crazy. So I like that it's a separate kind of area. But that might not be something that you like. Maybe you want more space. Maybe you want all horizontal. Maybe you want vertical. That's the beauty of Golden Coil. I'm gonna leave the link down below. It's not like an affiliate link or anything like that. I just really love it. Um, so number one, use a planner, put what you want to do in it, like actually use it. And then the key is to keep it open. You don't ever close the cover on this. So I keep this on my desk here where I work and it's open all day staring me in the face. So I have to see it. It's funny because the weeks that I close it are like maybe I close it because I'm cleaning off my desk and I don't reopen it. I do not get as much done. So however you like to manage your to-do list, your tasks, Make sure it's somewhere where you can see it frequently, just a glance, and it kind of reminds you, oh yeah, I needed, I needed to go to the grocery store, or I needed to run to the post office. That is tip number one. Tip number two is to establish some sort of cleaning routine. Now it can be very grand, it can be very, you know, kind of scaled back. I know there's a lot of YouTubers here that have cleaning videos. Um, I know there's a lot of like actual routines I've heard of like the fly lady. I don't really follow that. I just pick standard chores that happen during the week. So for me, I like to use Monday through Thursday as my main chore days. I really don't like to do chores on the weekend. Like if I have to, I will, but I'm trying to really lean into this whole work from home situation that I'm personally in. So on Mondays is my laundry for the household. So sheets, towels, um, any kind of thing that's not clothes, I get washed on Monday. Tuesdays for me are bathrooms. So we have uh, three bathrooms and then I also scoop my cat's litter box cause that's his bathroom. <laughs> um, so I do the whole thing every Tuesday and it's really nice feeling just to have a clean bathroom once a week. And of course, with most cleaning things, if you stay on top of it, it doesn't get that bad. Okay, Wednesday is the kitchen. Um, that is kind of my, one of my more kind of disaster zones. It's like one of the first places you walk in when you walk into our home. It's just kind of like a, a dumping ground. And our just stuff accumulates on the island and things like that. So I wipe everything down and because I'm wiping it down, I have to move everything. That's also when we take the trash and recycling out, like kitchen refresh day. And then Thursday is when I do clothing laundry so that all of our clothes are ready to go for the weekend and you have full choices. Um, and that's also when I do the living room. So I'll just wipe down the um, like side tables and just kind of tidy it up a little bit. Um, so those are my kind of set chores. I also have on my list recurring chores 
such as um, running a robot vacuum upstairs and downstairs once a week. I kind of just pick a day. Um, I don't really have a set day right now. I probably should pick certain days, but I just make sure I do it once a week. Um, like I said, we have the two stories, so I do upstairs one day and downstairs the other day. Um, and then you can add other things, but those are my staples where if I don't really get to anything what I consider extra, I'm just happy that I got through what I did because those four days are really important to me to running my household, the laundry, bathrooms, kitchen, living room, and more laundry. Easy enough for me. Based on your life, you might need something different, but that is what I'm trying to um, kind of maintain. And then um, something else I'd like to do is kind of have a focus area for the month. So maybe I want that to be a Spartan room. Maybe it's the garage. Maybe it's I just want to like dust everywhere. Our big task this month is we rented one of those um, carpet rug master things. They're like the shampoo for your carpet. That was disgusting, but so satisfying. I'm going to put a clip in here of what it looked like. It was like, I don't know, it was gross, but I kind of loved it. You know what I mean? Okay. Anyway, moving on, the third thing that I find really helpful is keeping some sort of a food inventory. So this is kind of suiting that it is September. If you've never heard of shelf timber, it's something that Jordan Page invented and I absolutely love it. So it's when you have a dedicated month to take inventory of everything in your kitchen. So your pantry, your cupboards, the freezer, the deep freeze in your garage if you have one, um, in the fridge. And you make a list, which I just did that today. Um, so that's exciting for the month and you just try to use as much on that list as you can and you plan your meals based on what's the list and then you just buy supplemental like to finish the um, recipe and finish with the little ingredients you're missing not the other way around so that is like my focus for September I'm going to be doing shelf timber and I'm going to do a video at the end of the month of my experience and kind of the things that I've um, done so stay tuned for that but when it's not September, I don't really keep an inventory of my pantry um, too much. It's just, if I see it's in there, great. If it's not in there, whatever. But it's my freezer that I definitely keep track of. I am so notorious for just buying a pound of ground beef every freaking time I go to the grocery store and then I'm having like six of them in the freezer because I I feel like, oh my gosh, I it, you know, it's on sale or it's, you know, it's right there. What's one more pound of beef will use it but having an inventory and kind of an idea of what you already have is really helpful for maintaining kind of that rotation and for making meals like sometimes I'm sure we all have that moment where it's like four o'clock and you're like oh what am I gonna have for dinner I don't even know like I'm not motivated and just kind of having an idea of okay well I know I have some like canned soup or I have some chicken or I have whatever can help with that okay um, number four also has to do with food and it is, has to do with grocery shopping. I have found so much success in going grocery shopping one time a week. I go on Mondays and I am done for the week and that needs to last us. Of course, like if we're really out of something, like I have to have eggs or something, I will go get them. But I try really, really hard to only do it once a week. And then I also saw, um, who was it? Jessica Braun shared this in her one of her videos and it is an app it's called any list so on my phone it's this blue guy right there and it's just a grocery list um you know that you can type into your phone but when you add things so like if i am lettuce and if i put in chicken breast chicken breast it categorizes the food for you so the blue bar here this first one is beverages and then we have meat and produce pet supplies it just categorizes it and this has been a game changer for me because when I walk into my grocery store the first area I go to is the produce area and I just go down okay these are the five things I need and I move on before I had an app well I just use the notes app but I had a list of my phone but I'd be going back and forth on the store because oh that's over there and that's over there and I was probably getting a lot of steps in but like it wasn't really efficient so definitely categorizing through this app or any app I'll list it down below um, or just in your notes somehow is super helpful and it makes my grocery ships a lot less painful um, and I also find that because I'm going through kind of intentionally in the grocery store I'm staying out of the aisles that I don't actually need anything in and I'm finding that I'm having fewer and fewer impulse purchases like 
no, I don't need the Scooby-Doo's fruit snacks this week. And I don't even walk down that aisle because I really don't need anything down there. So that has also been really helpful. Um, and going grocery shopping once a week, like I tell my partner, okay, I'm going to grocery shopping on Monday. What do you want for lunches? Um, you know, any snacks you want to have? What, what do you feel like we're missing? And I kind of meal plan a little bit and figure out what I need and it works out really well. And that way we have a plan and we know what we're doing. Um, and I get to stay on budget that way too. I'm not going back and forth, back and forth every freaking day to the grocery store. Okay, last one is to dedicate 15 minutes every single day towards something that will make progress. So that could be um, doing those daily chores and your kind of cleaning routine. It could be on top of that if you feel like extra motivated, but I find that setting a timer for 15 minutes, 15 minutes is like a lot longer than you think. Like you can get a lot done and that's when I um, do a lot of tidy. Like if there's shoes kind of by the door or sweatshirts and jackets everywhere, or there's just boxes that need to be crushed down, like whatever I can do for 15 minutes, I take that time and do it. And that is where I like a lot of flexibility um, so I like to dedicate 15 minutes throughout my day. Um, usually I do it kind of like early afternoon. In the evening I just want to chill um, where I just kind of quickly go through my house and anything I see that's out of place or maybe belongs in a different room, that's my chance to do it, um, to put dishes away, to do the dishes, to whatever I need to do. But 15 minutes every single day really makes a difference. And like I said, it could be in addition to your normal chores or it could be included in those chores. So. Those are my five tips for running your household a little bit more smoothly. I would love to know things that you are doing and implementing that are working really well for you. So let me know down below um, and stay tuned. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a shelf timber video at the end of the month, kind of showing my um, experience with that. But I will link Jordan's videos on shelf timber down below and also check out her Instagram. Um, I think she has and her own Instagram just for this event. So I'll check it out and leave it down below. But anyway, I'm going to be done rambling now. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.